Okay, I'm going to do a couple examples of showing you how to show a relationship or a relation as a ordered pair, table, mapping, and graph. Just make sure you're clear on the different vocabulary. So the ordered pair, well, ordered pairs mean sets of numbers. So this is our relation as a set of ordered pairs. When I wanted to change this into a table, well, I've got my x coordinate and I have my y coordinate. So I would have the point 4, 3. I would have the point negative 2, negative 1. I would have the point 3, 2, and then 2, negative 4, and 0, negative 4. So that would be taking this relationship and setting it into a table. Um, if I went a little bit too fast here, let me do it with multiple colors. So I have the point 4, 3. So I've got my x and my y, and that's the point 4, 3. I have the point negative 2, negative 1, negative 2, negative 1. I have the point 3, negative 3, 2. And I have the point 2, negative 4. And then I have my final point um, 0, negative 4. So that would be taking it from a uh, set of ordered pairs and making it into a table. So then let me take it from a table and put it into a mapping. This is pretty easy. I just look down my x column. This is going to be my x. This is going to be my y. And so I've got the points. I've got 4. I've got my negative 2, right, my negative 2. I've got my negative 3 right here. I have a positive 2. And I have the 0 that I've got down here. So I put them in my x's. And then I'm going to put what they're with on the other one. So I've got a 3 over here. And I just show that 4 goes to 3. And then I have my negative 1 here. And negative 1 goes to negative, or negative 2 goes to negative 1. And then I have my 2 right here. And negative 3 goes with 2, right? So negative 3 goes with 2. And then I have a negative 4 right here. And I've got my 2 that goes with my negative 4. And I have my 0 that goes with a negative 4. So that would be showing my mapping of my x's and my y's as a relation. And then I could also show it as a graph. So my graph, so I would plot the point 4, 3, right, 4, 3. Let's go back. So we want the point 4, 3, put it back as points. So that means I'm going over 4 because this is my x direction and this is my y direction. So I'm going to over 4 and up 3, and there is my point 4, 3. Then I've got this point negative 2, negative 1. So that means I'm going to go back 2 in my x direction and then down 1 in my y direction. And that's my point, negative 2, negative 1. And then I've got my point, negative 3, 2. So my x direction, right? And these are my, my x's, and these are my y's, right? So I'm going with, a, I need my green. So I'm at negative 3, negative 2. So it's back 3, and then up 2, because it's a positive 2. So the x direction is negative, but the y direction is positive, so I'm up there. And then in blue, I'm going to put my point, 2, negative 4. So 2, negative 4, that's positive 2, so x direction positive. Negative 4, y direction is negative, so I'm going to come down here. Oops, let's just clean that up a little bit. Okay, so I'm down here. And then my last point there, uh, my 0 also went with negative 4. And so I'm going to go forward or back absolutely nothing and just come straight down to negative 4. Okay, so those are my five points put on the graph. And the last part of this, we want to find our domain and our range. So the domain is all the x's, and we list that as a set of numbers. And I draw these little braces, a brace, I draw a C, a less than symbol, and a C, for those people that don't know how to draw that brace. And so if my x's, my x's in order from smallest to greatest, well, I have a negative 3, right, that's that one, and then I have a negative 2. And then my next one is a 0. And then I have my 2. And the last one getting bigger is the 4. And then I just do the exact opposite, a backward C, a greater than symbol, and a backward C to get the end of my braces on there. The range, the range is all the Y values. So the Y values, that's this other column. Again, going through this, I have my smallest one being a negative 4. 
And I have two negative fours, but I only list it once, so negative four. So that's both of those, check, check. And then the next smallest number I have is a negative one. So I'll put my negative one in there. Check it off. And then I have a two and a three. So I'm going to put down the two and the three. Oops, didn't quite get my lump in the middle of it. So x is, uh, the domain is all the x values. Your range is all your y values. And you just list them as a set of numbers. So let's go through that one more time. So this is going to be given, starting with a table, we're going to go to a mapping and a graph, and then we can put them as a set of ordered pairs. Um, so ordered pairs first. So I have a set of ordered pairs, and my first ordered pair is going to be 3, negative 2. My second ordered pair is negative 6, 7. My third ordered pair is 4, 3. And my last ordered pair is negative 6, 5. Negative 6. Put my parenthesis on there. So that is my set of ordered pairs. I got a little bit too big on the one side, so I had to squeeze in there a little bit. And then we go down and we want to make a mapping. A mapping, again, we've got our x oval and our y oval. And we're just going to list all of our values here. We've got two negative 6s. So I just need a 3, a negative 6, and a 4. So I'm going to do my 3 my negative 6, and my 4. And then opposite my 3 is a negative 2, and 3 goes to negative 2. Opposite my 6 is a 7, and 6 goes to 7. Opposite my 4 is a 3, 4 goes to 3. But then I have another negative 6, right? So I've got this 5 down here, and negative 6 is also going to 5. So we just draw an extra line in there. Okay, so there's my mapping. And then I want to graph it. So graphing it, I need the point 3, negative 2. Right, for my red one, 3, negative 2. So 3 is a positive 3, 2, 3. And it's a negative 2, so down 2. I need to go down just a little bit further. So 1, 2, 3, down 2. So there is my red point. My green point is negative 6, 7. Negative 6, 7. So negative 6 is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, oops, 6. And 7, well, that's 5, 6, 7 is going to be up here somewhere, right? So I'm going to go back one more and then all the way up here. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yep, so that's at 7. And then my blue one is at 4, 3. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3. Positive 4, positive 3 puts me there. And then I have a negative 6, 5, and I'm going to do that one in purple. So negative 6 was 1 off of here, and 5 was all the way at the top. So there I have my four points plotted on my graph. And then I want to list my domain and my range. Remember, domain is the x's, range is the y's. So domain is the set of numbers, and our x's were 3, negative 6, and 4. So the smallest one is negative 6. So we'll start with a negative 6, and then put the 3 and the 4, and end my brace. Okay, so we've got all three of those. And then my range actually has four numbers. The negative 2 is the smallest, so I need the set of numbers starting at negative 2. And then I'm going to go 3, then 5, then 7, right? 3, 5, 7. So 3, 5, 7. Okay, so our domain, all of our x's, and our x's were again 3, negative 6, and 4. So 3, negative 6, and 4. And our y's were negative 2, 7, 3, 5. Negative 2, 7, 3, 5. They're all listed there. And we list them in order from smallest to greatest.